Well, hello, hello everyone, and welcome to a new video. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I recently returned from a two-week photography workshop in Spain with my good buddy, Alistair Ben. Uh, we had a fantastic small group of six people, and despite the, uh, the finicky weather, I do think everyone went home with some great images and hopefully even better memories of the trip. Now, in terms of my own photography, I did take quite a few photographs, and I thought it might be kind of a fun thing to do to show you what I shot, both the good and the not so great, and perhaps go over some of my thought processes when I'm out in the field uh, taking photographs. So without delay, let's have a look at what I shot, and uh, perhaps I can give you some insight into why I shot those images. Okay, now I've uploaded all of the images to my computer. Uh, you may even notice that some of them I've just done a little bit of work on and I've uploaded a couple to uh, Instagram. But uh, it's funny because the first thing that always hits me when I first put my images up on a computer is, and I look at them as a, as a body of work, is what a pile of crap they are. Uh, <laughs> images, to me, never look as good as when I was actually at that location. And it'll often take me several days uh, of sitting on images before I start to look at them a little bit closer and think, okay, so maybe these images aren't as bad as, as what I thought they were or my initial reaction. Uh, you may have noticed that this was over a, a, a nine day period. Now I don't take a lot of photographs. Now this obviously was a, a workshop, so I didn't take as many images as I usually take, but my process is pretty much the same. I'll find one or two compositions and I will stick with those compositions. I don't run around like a chicken, a chicken with its head cut off trying to find photographs. Uh, I'll, I'll find something that really strikes me and I'll just stick with it. So the first thing I usually do is I'll go over the images really quickly. So I'll make these thumbnails just a little bit bigger and I'll just give them a quick grading so that I know that I need to go back to them. You'll also notice that I don't take multiples of every single scene, except for perhaps the images where there's waves and uh, where I've used a case ND filter uh, and I'm, I've prolonged the shutter speed because I want to get that shutter speed just, the, just right. So sometimes it takes a little bit of uh, trial and error. So these first three, three photographs, these were my very first photographs, and this was a focus stack. So all of these uh, I'll be using, but I'll just give one of them a five-star rating very quickly. This image here, uh, let's have a look here. This uh, photograph here I really quite liked. Now in terms of these guys here, uh, I'm not that keen on the shutter speed of that one. That one, that's okay. I might go back to that one, that one, definitely not that one. And the reason why I say definitely not that one is because I really wanted to have water surrounding all of these rocks. Uh, I guess the reason why I did it this way is because I thought my shutter speed would show a little bit of streaking in there, but it, it didn't really do that. Uh, this doesn't really work for me either. I'm not really keen on this wave coming through here. So I think uh, after looking at these really quickly, the shots that I, I really quite like are the ones where the water is quite flat. This one's not too, too bad. This one I, I'm not that keen on. Uh, the composition I, I like fine, but uh, it's just the, uh, the wave action. Same with this one. So I kind of failed uh, with some of these, uh, didn't quite get the shutter speed uh, how I really wanted it. So let's just keep going through these. Now these aren't bad. Um, these have, it's quite soft in there and, and that's what I was after. I was trying to get this contrast between the really smooth water and these extremely interesting uh, rock formations. You may also notice that the top of this little rock here is very close to that horizon line. Uh, that was really hard to avoid. Uh, the only way that I could have avoided it is perhaps get even higher, but I, I would need a stepladder to do that. So these three 
that one I quite like as well. So I'll give that one a five star rating. Now these here, I have looked at these ones uh, before and this one here, I have done a little bit of work on it, but not much. So I'm definitely going to give that one a five star rating. These here were more about the textures. And what I really loved about this rock formation was this transition between dark and light rock. But I don't think this quite works. And the reason why I say that is because we have these two opposing rocks here. Um, I love the colors in here, but I'm not sure that these two rocks here do anything for it. So I'm getting a little bit closer, doesn't really do it for me either. That's one that I might go back to later on. This one I quite like, so we'll give that one a five. And there's two here, these I really like. I love the, the transition here of the, the rock color. And these boulders here uh, I really quite like as well. So that I'll definitely keep. I should mention that these are all raw files um, and this is how I compose them. But of course with the Fuji system, uh, you can go back into these and recrop them if you want to. As an example, this one here, I quite like it as a pano, uh, but I think it would also work as uh, a smaller or a different crop, like something like uh, perhaps like this. And in retrospect, I probably should have taken uh, perhaps a four by five of this scene, something like that. Now remember, this is these are these are a hundred megapixel files, so uh, I can crop them and still maintain a lot of megapixels in there. So it doesn't really uh, doesn't really do a lot of uh, uh, damage to these files. So I'm going to give that one a five. This area here was really interesting. I especially love uh, this back section here. This is beautiful back here. Uh, I took a number of different exposures. This one I quite like. And then some of these, the water was coming in and out more. You can see that this kind of got rid of the black uh, lines there. And this one definitely did. So I think that this one here is probably my favorite. So we'll give that one a five. This I quite like as well. And unfortunately, I'd already put my footprints in this area. Um, but I do like the composition, especially as a pano. So we're going to give that one a five as well. This area here, I had trouble. I had trouble with these. Um, the light was quite, quite nice, but they feel a little bit cramped in there. And the reason why I compose them like this is because it was low tide or a, a lower tide. And there's these wonderful striations going through the side here but it didn't add to this particular composition. Uh, it feels a little cramped to me. So I'm not, so you can start to see them creep into the edge of the frame here. So I'm not really keen on these. This one's actually underexposed a little bit. It's okay. Uh, I could probably bring this to life, but I'm going to leave those ones for now. Uh, same with this one. Uh, it's okay if we warm it up a little bit and brighten it up considerably. Um, it kind of works, but it's it's not my favorite. Uh, these photographs here, um, they're okay, uh, but we were lacking a little bit of light. And I know I got another one better just over here. So we'll have a look at that one in a minute. Uh, this was quite interesting. I just took one shot, uh, but unfortunately, uh, it is blurry, so no shot. <laughs> I should have taken another one, I guess. I guess I wasn't that interested, and I just I kind of like the textures in there. Uh, these images here, I didn't do a lot. I wasn't overly whole, wholly keen on the whole uh, composition, um, but I do quite like this shot here. So perhaps we can do something with that. Uh, this one here. You can see how important light is in frame. We had a little bit of light, 
lit up these this C stack beautifully and here's one without light so you can see light really is important I think so we'll give that one a five uh, I'm not really sure what happened there probably picked up my camera during a long exposure uh, this was a, an experimental composition I quite like this but then I took another shot here and I think I like this one better so we'll give that one a five uh, these here uh, I really love these uh, these might be uh, focus stacked let's see yes that's definitely really sharp in the foreground and the background's out so let's see here uh, these shots do take a little bit of time because they're, they're quite large yeah that's focus stacked okay so I quite like this one you can see also my sensor is pretty filthy so that needs cleaning as well uh, this one here uh, this is the same thing as the last one slightly different composition and I think that's focus stacked as well uh, this image here was uh, last week's video, so I won't go into too much detail about this one. I don't want to bore you, but um, that again was focus stacked. These here, uh, I that's definitely underexposed. And I had a, a one of our participants there. I, I love the composition, but um, the light is not awesome. So I'm just going to avoid those for now because I know I took some better ones later on. This image here, love the clouds, beautiful clouds. But the, the ocean was a bit of a distraction. So I used an ND filter, but of course by doing that, the clouds are, are moving slightly. So what I did was I took two exposures. So we have this one and then we have one with sharp clouds. And my intention was to combine those two photographs. So I'll give that one a five because uh, I think that will work out really well. This uh, was really interesting. Uh, I think the pattern gets a little bit lost, but uh, really, really interesting layers in here, especially if you look at, uh, at the back here. Just amazing rock patterns. So we'll give that one a five. Uh, this composition, if it, uh, I really loved. Uh, I took a lot of f f shots of this one. Again, I was waiting for a little bit of light to hit the background. And I think it did at some point. Let's have a look here. Yeah, right here. So I'll give this one a five. Uh, I'm pretty sure I might have focus stacked this one as well because it was with a 30 millimeter. Oh, no, I didn't focus stack. Okay. That's F16. It's pretty sharp in the foreground and nice and sharp in the background. So that one just needs a bit of cropping. And actually, I might have. There we go. That one's actually better. So let's give that one a five. All right. Uh, these shots here, uh, they're, they're okay. Um, I like the composition, but it's not. It doesn't really excite, excite me that much. Um, let's see. Yeah, that one's not uh, that one's not bad. Okay. Give that one a quick five. Uh, these this was on a really sunny day. I'm exposing for the highlights here. That's why it looks a bit underexposed. I probably could have given it a bit more exposure. Um, obviously, this was with a, a black black and white. Um, black and white film simulation in the camera um, it's, it's okay uh, I could probably do some pretty nice stuff I like the composition actually so what I would do for this one I would actually darken the top and lighten the side here so let's give that a five for now and we have some color images of this as well I quite like that actually you notice my horizons way off so let's give that a five. This one I, I really love. I, I don't, I'm not sure why the horizon line is so crooked. I guess I didn't check. It's pretty embarrassing actually. Um, but these these images here, I actually focus stacked. 
So the, the foreground is sharp, the background is not quite as sharp, so I'll give that one a five. These here, uh, the color cast is, as you can see, it's, this was early, early in the morning before the light. Uh, it, it needs some a lot of warming up, but I really loved the rock patterns, and I think I can do quite a bit with this. Uh, I darken the top to bring down the light and the top, just even it out a little bit. Um, so let's give that a five. Uh, these were just, I was just playing around. These, uh, that's overexposed. That's overexposed. I'm not that, I like the composition, but I'm not, I've, I've had better shots from this area, so I'm not terribly keen on that one. Uh, the, this was really interesting, lovely rock formations here. I went back a couple of times. Uh, this is quite nice, and I think I might have focus stacked this one. Uh, maybe, maybe, did I? Or did I just stop down the F16 as I usually do? You may notice that I stopped down the F16 an awful lot. Actually, that's acceptably sharp for me. So, give that one a five. Uh, this was just a record shot, more or less. This one here got this just as the light was going down. Um, and this is nice and sharp, or reasonably sharp. It's not tack sharp in the foreground, but it's sharp enough for my eyes. Uh, there's some fishing line in there, which I didn't notice, so that's not great. Uh, there were actually some fishermen behind me when I took this. Uh, it's exceptionally sharp. Give that a five. The verticals I like actually better, but of course I've lost that light. So we'll give that one a five as well. Uh, this one, uh, it's okay. I'm not that interested in the comp. Um, it, it's okay. It's, it's not brilliant. Um, this one here... I love the composition in this. The light is not awesome, but uh, I think I could really bring this to life. So I'm going to give that a five. That was the only composition I took with that rock in the foreground, this rock here. Um, these are quite nice as well, but I don't think we got any light uh, in the background. This is quite nice as well. So we'll give that a five. I, I really love the, the contrast between this lovely sand here and these boulders with the green on them. Really nice. Okay, these photographs here, um, I don't think they quite work. Uh, the water was, wasn't quite coming up to here, and this is the part that I don't, I, I'm not that interested in. You notice I have a hair in there. Um, I really need to <laughs> clean that sensor. So all of these, they're okay, um, but I would have preferred water all the way up, like this one here. I quite like this one, so I'll give that one a five. Uh, this one is an almost. I think this was as the tide was coming up. I was playing around with these steps here. I don't think it, it works, so I'm going to avoid those for now. Uh, here's one that has all of the water up. I think that might work, so we'll give that a five. How about this one? This one isn't cropped. This one works as well, so we'll give that a five. Here's some other ones where I um, was experimenting with the steps that went down to the beach. I was hoping to get more water on the steps, um, but I didn't quite get there. It, it's kind of nice to have one where you can see the steps, kind of like this one. I quite like that one. So I might turn that into a black and white. Okay, now we have some wonderful, wonderful rock patterns here. Some of these that, let's just reduce these a bit. Some of these that really stand out to me. Uh, this one here, this one, this one, 
this one actually pretty much all of them uh, just amazing amazing rock patterns I like this one uh, this one was focus stacked so we'll give that a five uh, these here really lovely all of these I, I'm really happy with uh, the ones with the rock I'm quite happy with as well this one all of these are just just fantastic uh, another one four by three a slightly different composition whoops I've already given that one Uh, these uh, composition not so much so I'll leave that one for now this I quite like and these are quite like these have a lot of potential this one I worked on a little bit uh, I quite I quite like this so I'll give that a five these as well um, that's five I think I prefer the other one actually. What about this one? This one's quite cool. Uh, more rock patterns. I have a lot of rock patterns. This I quite like. The uh, this I really love, and the vertical and the horizontal of that as well. These are more um, textures. I like that. Uh, these didn't quite work out. The the light wasn't great. Uh, I should have really played around with the shutter speed. The problem with this area is it's quite small. So I wanted to make sure that uh, some of our clients got up here. So I just took three or four images and then uh, I let someone else go up here. Uh, the clouds were not that interesting. So I decided to move on to some more rock patterns instead. Uh, this here, I photographed this last year, really interesting area. Um, I'm not sure if it really translates into pictures, but um, I'm going to give that one a five. This I quite like as well. And here's some, some close-ups here of these beautiful patterns and, and colors. Uh, with these, I used the case uh, uh, polarizer to really bring out those colors. Worked really well. Uh, these, I'm, I'm not sure if they work that much. I, I love the textures in here, but I'm not sure if they work that great. Um, I guess I'll give that one a five. I'll have to have a closer look at these. That one I quite like. Uh, these images here, I had really a lot of problems with fog on my lens. Eventually, it did clear up. Um, these are all quite interesting to me. Um, and I think they're lovely and sharp as well. If they, they take a while to render, as you can see. <laughs> I think it's probably because I'm record I'm um, screen recording at the same time. Yeah, just one just wonderful textures and colours in here. Okay, we'll give that one a five and the same with the I think I like the vertical better actually. Okay, we'll give that one a five as well. Uh, this scene here, um, I think I do quite a bit with this. This is a very long exposure. It was 240 seconds. I really wanted to smooth out those clouds and the ocean. Um, I'm, I'd like to add a lot more contrast to this and maybe even turn it into black and white. So we'll give that a five. This one, I'm not sure who took this. I didn't take this. Must have been Alistair. Um... This is okay. Um, I'm not sure. It's too bad. We had wonderful light when we got to this location, but we just kind of rushed around. I quite like this one, but I think I'm going to have to adjust the contrast and the colors a little bit. You'll notice that as soon as the sun went down, we really do have blue hour. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about these. This one, I'm not that sure about. The ones that I don't give um, stars were, are probably ones that I'll go back to at some point down the road, possibly. Um, sometimes you find some gems. This one is very blue, obviously, uh, blue hour, and it just needs warming up considerably. And it also needs brightening up considerably as well. But I'm not sure if this one really works, to be honest. Uh, these are lovely. Um, I took a lot of, of this scene 
different times of the day. We went there twice actually. Um, these are quite nice, but I think I have. I'm not sure about this one. I think I have some different ones down here that I like better. Uh, maybe not. Okay, I quite like this one, but I'm. I think I'm going to have to adjust the. The um, the crop of this, it's lovely and sharp. Okay, so we'll give that one a five. Um, and we'll give this one a five. These were just some cloud shots that I took that I quite liked. So we'll give those a five. I love the color in this, um, but I'm not sure on the crop. Give that one a five. Might have to give that one a, a bit of a workout. Yeah, none of these. Um, this this one quite appealed to me because um, we just had a little bit of light hitting the tips of these. As soon as the light hit, uh, I think it changes the whole mood of the image, and I'm not sure if I if I really like it that much. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to warm it up considerably. Uh, perhaps adjust the highlights, which I've already seemed to have done. I I don't know. I think I prefer the ones before the light hit these uh, they're they're okay um not that thrilling for me um oh, okay maybe this was the one i worked on earlier i think i like the crop of this one the best so we'll give that one a five we're almost done here uh these this arch i, I photographed last year uh, but i was able to get a bit closer this year and I quite like the one with the water in here. So we'll give that one a five. And then these patterns here are really, really fantastic. Just loved, loved photographing these. Um, this one's got a little bit of light on it. You'll notice this one doesn't have much light. It's quite flat. This one has a lot of light. This one's just a different exposure. So I'll give that one a five. I'm not sure about the crop in this one. Um, yeah, we'll give that one a five for now. These, I really love these shots here. Give that a five. This one a five. <clears throat> yeah, this is just fantastic. Fantastic rock formations. These, uh, they're okay. Um, I really love the light on the foreground, but it just seemed a little bit empty up here. Now, I might be able to work on this and bring out the clouds more, which would really help. Uh, but I, I have taken better images of this area in the past. So I think, if anything, this one might be the best one. So we'll give that one a five. These, uh, they're, they're okay. Not my favorite images, to be honest. Uh, the, the evening was beautiful. I really quite like this one. So I'm going to give that one a five really quickly. These, I am i don't think these work, to be honest. And then on the last day, uh, we had some pretty cool conditions. Uh, we had some nice lights on uh, these stacks, and I decided to give them a really long exposure. Um, in terms of sharpness, it's nice and sharp foreground to background. So I'm going to give that one a five. This one, uh, I already checked already. I love this one, but I didn't give it. Um, I should have stacked this one. If I zoom in on the foreground, it's a little bit off. And the background is definitely off. This shot here, which is slightly different, um, is a little bit better. But it looks like we've got a bit of camera movement in there. But I might be able to salvage that one. So we'll give that one a five. And then last but not least, we have these images here. And I started off quite far back and I slowly moved in closer. Um, I basically just did different shutter speeds. I wanted to get the waves coming up. Um, they weren't coming up quite high enough, to be honest. Um, 
they're not that interesting but there is one here I think that I quite like I think it was this one I quite like that one so I'll give that one a five and then lastly these images here uh, I quite like I got closer to the boulders and I think these are a stronger image so it's just a matter of getting the right the right waves or the wave action quite like that one and I like that one as well so let's have a look at all the five star images a little bit too long so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video here and for those of you that are interested I'll put together another video where I'll talk about each image and the types of things that I would do to uh, process them so I'll try and get that together in the next couple of days and uh, if you're interested be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload that video. All right, folks, thank you ever so much for watching and until next time, bye-bye.